Who is afraid of the rakshas sweety man? Written by Ranjit Lal, illustrated by Lavanya Naidu. Who is afraid of the rakshas sweety man? The twins Samur and Nilya are waiting for the school bus. Do not turn around. He is staring at us. Samur hisses at his sister Nilya. The rakshas sweety man is watching the children from his shop across the road. He is huge and scary. His face is like a bulldog. Samur says rudely. His nose is like a samosa. Nilya says. And his fingers look like hairy bindis. The Raksha Sweety Man may be scary, but he has the most fabulous sweet toys and general shop. The lovely Sweety and Toy Shop. It has large piles of colorful sweets and chocolates. They see other children go into the shop. Twins are too scared to buy a single sweetie or toy from him. Once they had seen heaps of new chocolate in the shop, they decided to be brave and went inside. Please, can you have that chocolate? Can we have that chocolate? Summer mumbled. The Raksha Sweetie man leaned across the counter and reached out for them with his huge python-like arms. Your teeth will fall out, he grumbled softly. He took out a dreadful pair of false teeth from his car drawer. He snapped it at the children. Summer and Nilya took one look and fled. He was going to bite us with those teeth, Nivya said trembling. Once they were safely home, they never dared go back again. But today, Samar and Nivya see something even more scary. The Raksha Sweety Man is holding a wriggling puppy close to his face and rumbling. Then he takes the puppy inside his shop and disappears. Oh no! He's going to cook the puppy and eat her! Nivya squeals. Samur and Nivya are sure that their own dog Lolo and her six new puppies are in danger. We will not let the Raksha Sweetie Man cook you all, says Nivya. But the next day, when Ma goes to the market, she leaves the gate open. Summer and Nivya watch in horror as all the six puppies run out and straight into the Raksha Sweetie Man's shop. He is going to eat them too now. Summer cries. We have to rescue them. Summer and Nivya holds hands and slowly walk into the dark cave of the shop. No one is there. At the back, a door is half open. Trembling, they push it open. The Raksha Sweetie Man looks at the children and beams. Look, he rumbles. They are not afraid. Thank you and that is the end of the story.